Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we're gonna create this distorted glitch text effect in After Effects and this is going to be a procedural non-destructive workflow where you can change your text to your desired text and the effect will remain the same. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, here I am in After Effects. Let's create a new composition. Rename this to main comp and five seconds long, hit okay. Grab the text tool and type in your text. Center this to the composition and go to layer, transform and center anchor point to layer. Collapse this animate and add a position and move this y axis so that the text is away from the frame like this collapse the range selector go to advanced change this shape to ramp up and we're going to animate this offset set this 100 go to one second set a keyframe for the offset Go back to the first and move it away, negative 100. Change this is high to 60 and is low to about 20. Select all the keyframes, hit F9 for easy ease. In animator one, select this add, go to property and select this character offset and change this to 100 like this. And I'm gonna add another one which is opacity and set this to zero. Once you have that, you can pre-compose this. Right click, pre-compose and rename this to title. Hit OK. All right, grab this rectangle tool, selecting on the title. Let's draw a mask like this because we just need to extract out this text coming from above. I'm gonna duplicate this again, Control D. And this time I'm going to move this and make sure you turn on this title action safe and we'll cut this text in half like this and i'm going to duplicate another copy Control d and this time i'm going to select this and cover the bottom part of the text at the end you have the same animation it's just that we have separated out all the parts let's go ahead and animate the position of these two select both these layers hit p to bring up the position set a keyframe here i'm gonna move at around two seconds and select this slide it to the right and the other one to the to the left select both these keyframes and move it to the first frame select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease all right grab the pen tool with no fill and stroke click here hold down shift and click it here and a stroke of about 80 70 pixel go and collapse this add a trim path and we're going to animate this trim path set a keyframe for the end and start at the first frame and go to one second and move it like this and select this start keyframe and offset the timing select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease and we're gonna time this animation right about here go to the graph and make the graph something like this duplicate this layer Control d right click transform flip horizontal and i'm gonna move this down once you have that select the text tool and type plus on the keyboard and make it small something like this and go to layer transform and center anchor point and hit r to bring up the rotation and set this to 45 degree and you can reposition the text a random position and we're going to animate this rotation by giving some expression to it hold down alt on the keyboard and click on this rotation and type in wiggle begin bracket 5 and 50. we are going to retime this animation select the layer hold down ctrl shift and d to chop that off select the top layer move it away and reposition it somewhere and make some variation by scaling down like this and move few frames and i'll do the same ctrl shift and d somewhere here again and scale it a little bit up go a few frames Control shift and d again and we're gonna move it down 
somewhere here and control shift and D you got the idea right just making sure you have some random random you know elements on the screen and control shift and D and you can delete the last one maybe we're gonna change the timing of this select all the layers and retime this you can just find the right timing for this once that is there we're gonna select all the layers and pre-compose it again pre-compose and rename this title design we're gonna create a solid and rename this noise hit ok go to effects and presets and type in fractal noise and fractal noise to the layer and change this noise type to block change this contrast contrast to something like this and go to transform and uncheck this uniform scaling and we're gonna scale the width and the height as well hold down alt and click on this evolution and you can type in time times 200 and what you will be having is this and we're gonna animate this turbulent offset offset turbulence set a keyframe for the turbulence offset at the first at the first frame and go to about five seconds and you can move this up like this and you can change this fractal type to dynamic we're gonna pre-compose this and rename this map and move all attributes hit ok and shut off the eye and move it down here and what I'm gonna do is leave that for now and we're gonna change this title design to add and go to effects and presets and type in channels and we're gonna use these shift channels and drag and drop it on the title design let this take from red be red and take from green this off and blue to off and control D to duplicate this layer control D and you just make this take red off and we're gonna turn this green to green and we're gonna duplicate one more time and green to off and blue to blue all right so basically what you're having is the same thing again so we're gonna offset this timing one frame like this and you have this RGB create a new adjustment layer and rename this glitch go to the effects and presets and search for displacement displacement map drag and drop it on the glitch and select this displacement map layer to map increase this horizontal displace and maybe around here i'm gonna chop this off hold down alt and click the begin square bracket and move few frames and hold down alt again and close square bracket you can always go inside the map and you know refine this transform and i also added a new adjustment layer adjustment layer and and go and search for vr and i added a vr glow here vr glow and go and select the bad tv bad tv warp and drag and drop it on top of that if you want to change the text go to the project and go to title and maybe i want to change this this text to glitch and if you go back to the main composition and you have this glitch and the same design is here all right that is how you create this i hope you like this video so make sure to watch this video as well for more after effects tutorials this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care